Can I help you with something, Sid? How'd you even get in here? A magician never reveals his tricks. Shut up, dude. It's way too early for this. Hey, do you have anything in this closet that doesn't scream, my heart's been ripped out of my chest and an empty shell of a man? Try your closet. Get out. Okay, you know what, dude? Take one of these. It's called a chill pill. But in your case, maybe take 20. Side effects may include actually getting up and enjoying life again. Get out. Ooh. I think I like this one. Yeah, this one looks nice. Okay, well, I'm gonna be on my merry way. Uh, we're meeting up with Jeremy and Matt in about an hour. So get your ass in gear. God, little bitch. Freaking hate my life. Here we are, fellas. Twelve years together, and we are finally here at our first day of college. God, how cheesy can you get, man? Someone better cut off your penis. Yeah, dude. Why are you so chipper today? We are in college. The next chapter of our mediocre and single lives. The next level of adulthood. The land of the ladies. The impending window of opportunity. As I walk into the abyss of education. So can we just think about it for a second? We are in college without parents. We can do whatever we want. Hitting up parties. Hitting on girls. Ooh, hey girl, mm, someone's looking fine today. Not to mention we can game for as long as we want. No curfew. <laughs> gaming? Seriously? We're at the breaking point of our lives where gaming and autobops is way behind us now, guys. Speak for yourself. <laughs> yeah, bro, I freaking love autopops. Now that we're in college, can we acknowledge that now? We're men. Move the fresh air. Whoa, man. Am I bleeding? You know what? Matt has a point. We have a chance to be whoever we want. The great man I never knew once said, I am nothing more than an artistic snail dodging the salts of life. Let us relish in the simple fact, my perverted comrades. Who the hell said that? I did. Were you not freaking listening? The hell, Sid? Guys, guys, calm down. We're in college now, man. Play it cool. You know what? You're right. We need to act like college kids. What the hell? Five dollar people packing? What the hell is Charlie's deal? First he's crying over what's her name? Alexis. Alexis. And then he's acting like Mr. Brady from the Brady Bunch. I swear. It's like I'm hanging out with a girl, but I'm not even getting any. He's in a vulnerable place right now, guys. He's sensitive and breakable. A ceramic baby seal. Hey guys! They have free otter pops! No, 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 no. Damn it! You! You are my Everest! Hey, uh, I don't mean to intrude or anything, but do you mind if I try? Oh, uh, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, I mean, it's no. Oh, I mean, this game actually takes. Poise and talent. I actually read on IGN that the best gamers have not even beat this game. I'm pretty sure I'm the only one. Wait, what do you have? Wait. How... Wait. How did you do that? You must be beginner's luck. No. So, uh, how how did you just beat that game like that? I have twelve of Let's just say I have to keep up. I'm really amazed that like, you just did that! You just well, beat the game! You know, it's a nice escape from all the crap that happens in the real world, I think. What crap are you escaping from? Funny thing, it was never really my crap. Let's just say my best friend loved the drama. Did anyone ever tell you that?
Definitely never was a cat person. Well, it looks like it's a story for another time. Here, take this. You may need to practice. Wait, I didn't catch your name. Kitan, my Xena warrior princess. I'm gonna need a game. Dude, there's so much potential here, man. It's freaking insane. What are you talking about, dude? Look around. There's some prime real estate here, my friend. There is only one real estate that I'm in today. Not again, man. If you keep going down this road, your prince will hate you. You might even fall off in protest. <laughs> Matt, you don't understand, man. I love the Lexus. You know? It was serious for me. I'm... I don't understand. First of all, who's the one not to pick up all the pieces that she left behind? And who was there listening to all your stories about Alexis this and Alexis that? That's right, me. So, don't tell me that I don't understand because I think I know a little bit about what went down. You know what? I, I know. And I, I appreciate everything you've done for me. It's just that right now I'm in a tough situation and it's really hard for me to let go. Yeah, I get it. I know it's hard, but we're in college now. You can... Reinvent yourself. You can be happy here, man. You know what? You're right. So, come on. Let's go to get to class. Come on. Who's my big guy? Who's my big guy? Oh, shut <laughs> up, dude. What are you doing? <gasps> Oh my god. Floor is an odd place to be. What are you doing down there? Well, I was trying to draw this statue here. For what reason, mistress? I don't know, just because? Did you call me mistress? You are strangely intriguing. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Marissa. Sid, it's a pleasure. So, you have a love for the art. Kinda. <laughs> I dabble. Well, my best friend and I used to go to the museum all the time because her ex-boyfriend's dad owned it, so I guess I kinda got into the whole scene. <laughs> well, then I would hardly consider you to be a William Warham fan, especially of his piece, The Buck Buckhorn. Uh, William Warham's piece is... Yeah, it is The Buckhorn. You're right. Um, and for your information, I'm more of a Demetrios fan. Oh, so you know about the statue? Caring statue? Near the admin building? Yeah. Yeah, I was just on my way over. Well, I stand here incorrect. My apologies. <laughs> no worries. Well, may I walk you to the statue, mistress? Sure. Dude, ninjas would beat pirates into the ground hard. Dude, ninjas. Seriously. Pirates have the better weapons, dude. What do weapons matter against superior speed and agility? Your, your, your argument is invalid. You have no comeback. You know what? Let's tell us the right way. Rock, paper, scissors? You're wrong. Dude, let's just agree that the zombie apocalypse will happen before we even see ninjas versus pirates. Alexis loves zombies. Seriously? I thought we were over this, man. I, I am. It's just that we watch Zombieland together. I get it. It's hard, but you need to move on. This isn't the Charlie that, that I know. You know what? You're right. Oh, well, better get to class. All right, man. I'll see you later. Excuse me, are you lost? Are you, are you lost? No, are you? Um, well, actually I was just asking because I know that heaven sure is a long way from here. <laughs> oh, wow, did you Google that one? No, actually I used Bing. And that actually works? Almost always. <laughs> Look, I'm flattered, but I'm not the kind of girl that swoons at the first words of a cheesy pickup line. Nice try, though. What, what, what's wrong with me? 
Well, first of all, don't use pickup lines. They don't impress anyone anymore. Okay. Um, hey, is that, is that the Heroes Volume 1 that you're reading? What kind of pickup line is that? That's not a line. I'm the biggest Heroes fan. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, I'm a pretty big fan of Heroes. Uh, at least of Season 1. No, yes. Season 1 was the best. But Season 2, they lost all their best writers. Right? There was just no culminating event to work up towards. It was such a ridiculous sequel. Right? The only thing good about Season 2 was probably Peter Petrelli. Other than that, everything else was bullshit. So you're a Peter Petrelli fan? I would have thought you were a Claire Bennett fan because she's hot. Well, I mean, I am a fan of Claire Bennett, but she is just a work of God. <laughs> okay. Well, you should definitely check out the novels. They give the series way more credit. No, yeah, I could never find the volume one, but I actually have the volume two at my apartment. No way! I had the hardest time looking for that one. I'm Matt. <laughs> Marissa. So, I actually have the limited edition action figures at my apartment. No way! You have the dolls? They're not dolls, they're action figures. Sorry, my bad. I actually have the... Siler doll, limited edition. You do? From season one? Yeah. You should come check it out sometime, you know? Wait, so you admit you have a doll? Yeah. It's an action figure! Okay, And he has a removable brain. Oh my god. <laughs> Why can't you just admit that you have a doll? They're not dolls. You call them dolls! Do you guys know how hard it is to stay positive throughout the whole day? Nope, but I feel like you're gonna tell us. That's positive. Pretty damn difficult. He says with a distinct irritation in his voice. Sid, stop. He yells in hopes to startle his friends into submission. You know what? This is pointless. I am tired of needing that. He walks off with a cold expression on his face. Well played. He said. Stop. Yep. Wait, so you actually like some of the later seasons of Heroes? Okay, overall, it's a bunch of crap, but there were some gems in the storyline. I think you're being too nice to the writers. Oh, I didn't think anyone was going to be at home right now. Really? I, I don't mean, like, not like... I have nothing. That's a first. Hey, guys, um, this is Marissa. So that's your name. Well, isn't this a little reunion? Hi! You guys know each other? Yeah, we met on campus. We're all good buddies. Sorry, these guys can get a little bit weird. <laughs> it's okay, I like weird. Mind if I use your bathroom? Yeah, it's right over there. Thanks. Guys, what the hell is going on? What is she doing here? Dude, Marissa? She's super cool. Don't sweat it, dude. Definitely. But I would use more fitting words like elegant and intelligent. Which is a more fancy way of saying cool. For once, I'm gonna have to agree with you, these guys, Charlie. She sure is something else. You don't understand. That's your best friend. Who's? Alexis! Oh boy, this will be good. Remind me again how we got into this mess. Play nice, Liv. It's not a mess, it's a kickback. And it's gonna be fun. How do you even know this anyways? So, I just got the phone with Marissa, and she's gonna move into her friends over. Bon appetit.